options who's good. You, I'm not even talking about sex. You might not like this. Go ahead. But R. Kelly was the superhero oh. that we didn't know we needed. Oh, man. He was the you superhero tripping. that we didn't <laughs> know tripping. we needed. Heck yeah. You Hell tripping. yeah. Action. I think there's a type of man that a woman cheats on. And I, I've seen this in my life, you know, as someone who has been in a serial habitual cheater, have had multiple women, have been in situations where I've had multiple women at the same time and they knew about each other. I think that there is a type of man that is consistently uh, taken advantage of. The good man. The good man. I hate to say that. And, and that's typically. The, the monogamous man. The I have no other options man. That man. Okay, let's go there. <laughs> that's that's the men that get you to I can be monogamous. I can have standards. I'm going somewhere. I, and, ha I have been cheated on. And not get cheated on. However, comma, it's the not having options part. You know how I was, do you know how I was behaving? I was having like one-itis. You're my, you're my queen. You're so right. amazing. I love you. I adore you. I cherish you. Yeah, 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 yeah. All this attention, hyper focus, like she's like, nigga, go do something, <laughs> go do something with yourself, go get a hobby. If I may ask, was this a like early on in your like relationship? Absolutely. Okay. That's what that's what that's what learned me real good. Right. She tried to give it to me, and I told her, no, no, baby, I'm waiting until I get married, huh? And then she broke up with me and told me, you're too you're too good for me because she had already gave that cookie to somebody. She's like. They don't want to marry me. This is this is an open box. I think one of the things that we th th this is what happens. This is what happens with men. We are usually dealing or going after women that we want. Hear me out. We're not really dealing with women who first want us so bad that they're you could tell her to be in a cult for you and she would join it. I've only I learned this early on and it has a lot to do with the fact that my mother was a beautician, worked in the shop. I've seen I will say this. All women, no matter what type of women will cheat. I've seen good and bad. But the one thing that I noticed when a woman really wants a man so bad, I mean, really, really bad that the value of herself, she feels that the value of him is higher than her. And this has nothing to do with money. When she feels like there's a displacement in value and she sees him almost like a godlike deity figure. You fare well better in those relationships. I'm not saying it's perfect, but I think you do. So your woman better think that you're better than her. <laughs> your woman has to think that <laughs> your woman has to your woman has to see you as the prize. Your what woman has to see you as something so much more elevated than what she is. Because if your woman sees you as someone where you have to bargain for her time, where she can control you in somewhat, you said you're you cruising for a bruising. Let's take it off of gender. Let's be very specific to human nature. Right. Add so much value to another person's life that they can't replace you. And then, and then that's where you become endeared. That's when you become beloved is when I add so much value. No one could possibly, possibly do all the things that I do. Be the father, be the friend, be the lover, be the lover, make her org. You know what I'm saying? You have to climax is it's important. It's important. But like, like simple to P one said, you know, you can make her come, but can you make her come up? You know, a woman that sees that you have changed the position of her life, it's going to be hard for any other man. And I've experienced this. It's going to be hard for another man to top who you are. I had a chick one time. We was just like dating. We dated. It wasn't nothing serious. It wasn't going to be nothing serious. Uh, Lost contact. And then eventually we got back, <clears throat> you know, just kicking in one time. And she told me, she was like, every man that has tried to take me out never dated me like you. I mean, the way you dated me and at the experiences I had, that stuck with her. You can leave an impression on a woman's mind. You got to have a woman that you can mold and leave an impression on to where if she's not with you anymore, she feels like she's losing out on life. She's losing out on things. You got to understand that as a man. Well, a lot of times when men uh -huh. are suffering, go ahead. Fear of missing out. FOMO, that's what women have, right? <laughs> right. And now, so life is about, as a content creator, I understand their life is about storytelling. You want to give a person a wonderful experience. You want to make the moment. A lot of people don't remember much, but they remember how you made them feel. And if I can make you feel a way that you never felt before, then holy Christ, I am Christ. You hear me? I am Christ. You shall worship at my altar. Now you get into a place where you don't want to manipulate anyone. You want to be extremely intentional. I want to be deliberate and let you know this is what I am and this is what I do. Sometimes I just look her dead in her eyes and say, I'm a man and I'm a breeder. That's what I do. We talked about this off air, but I'm, I'm going to tell you something that I think will help all men. 
and this is not uh, talking about sex. It's, it's a technique called spinning plates. And this is what I mean. When you're actively dating out in the market, you let all the women know that you're seeing, that you are indeed actively seeing other women. She doesn't have to know the nature of what you're doing with these other women, but she needs to know one thing. Anything of value is in high demand. I am seeing other women. She may call, hey, right now. Can we pause? Go ahead. I don't like that method. Why not? Because if I tell you I'm that nigga, it's, it's not as powerful as her telling you that I'm that nigga. Like, presence matters in, in so much, so many ways. When I walk into the room and I greet everyone in an endearing way, the way that I'm greeting them, the way that I'm smiling with them, she just wants to get to know me because I'm the light in the room, man. Okay, look. So let's say, like, in the first phase when you're dating a chick, how, right, right. How, does they, how, do, how do they typically act? So what, what I'm saying is, what if I don't even... Be, if you start looking at terminology, right. then you start having expectations. If I meet a person, I just know that the first time I met them, it was a good experience. I don't know. Whatever we did, it was a positive experience. It takes multiple meetings for me to even consider you anything. And so if I met a person on Wednesday, a person on Friday, a person next Tuesday, I met three different people. How can we possibly have any type of saying that we're, that we're something but when I just met them? How many times have a relationship that you know, and we're not just even talking about ourselves, just people you know, that it didn't take no long for they start seeing each other within a few weeks? That well, happens quite often. Like, So I, women, I think in, in general, for a, a good percentage of women, the relationship starts when the intimacy starts. And, and how so, long does that take? And so for me, yeah, yeah, yeah. For, first three times. Yeah, okay, yeah. so what I'm saying is this. A lot of the times, that's where we're derailing our own shit. I've talked about lust. Because wrong, what wrong. Happens, yeah, <laughs> I understand that. But I'm, <laughs> but I'm talking about a success for us as men. A success for us as men and the errors that we make. A lot of the times, first week, two weeks, you hitting. Next thing you know, you're in something serious. It doesn't have to be a monogamous relationship, but you're in some type of institution with this person, okay? What I'm saying is this. Weeding out the garbage, weeding out the garbage by letting her know that A, your time is valuable, B, I'm not having sex with you as quickly, and I have options, I have options to choose from. And that's good for us too because we can see out of all those options who's good. You, I'm not even talking about sex. You might not like this. Go ahead. But R. Kelly was the superhero oh, that we didn't know we needed. Oh, man. He was the you superhero <laughs> that we didn't you know tripping. we needed. Heck yeah. You Hell tripping. yeah. You, you need someone to you came the trip. You need someone to tell the woman the truth. And R. Kelly said, I'm going to tell you the truth. And the only reason why he could tell them the truth is because they loved him and he could sing. And so in a song, he says, don't you say no tonight. He said, you want to ride all in my truck and you don't want to let me, huh, huh? Uh, don't you say no tonight. You know, I can't sing at all. And so. That album sold millions of copies, and it wasn't men buying this album. It was women buying this album with the understanding, hey, girl, do not be out here riding in my truck trying to spend my money and you playing with my heart, okay? Like, I'm, I'm showing you that I like you by the way I spend this money. And then the way you show that you like me is to proceed with growing this relationship in an intimate way. That's not force. It's a silent negotiation. And it's doomed. It's doomed every time because, one, the things that's going to make a relationship last or even make your life less complicated. Yeah, it's doomed. So, so if you meet a girl, you don't buy her no ice cream? Yeah, but we talking about, hey, we talking about, we're talking about being intimate. I'm talking about the financial exchange. Me, yeah, I'm, buy I'm, I'm, I'm buying you a $7 Cold Stone $12 ice cream or whatever because I want to be intimate with you. And I, and as we eat this ice cream, you finna learn my personality and it's gonna give you the opportunity to deal with me. So you don't buy the ice cream to get to know her. Bro, you I already know what I know. What you know? <laughs> that it's fat. <laughs> what are we what are we doing? Come on. I, I hear what you're saying. Hell no, I operate based on attraction. I don't operate, damn, I wonder if she has deep thoughts. I wonder if she could share some thoughts that I don't know. I'm like, okay. Is she going to let me touch the bottom of the throat or the bottom of the coochie hoe? It's like this. You can be mature if you want to be mature, but that's what attraction does. It ain't even about maturity because the truth is coochie ain't in, in, it's not in scarcity. It's not scarce. Everybody can get it. So it's like this. That's not what I said. But, but what I'm saying is this. If you buy ice cream, you buy ice cream to be intimate. That's what you said. 
I'm saying that all of my actions are intentional. I am showing you with my behavior that I like you. This is the mating call in human society. Men spend money is like their mating call. I want to mate with you, so I'm spending money on you. Socially, we all understand this. If you want to pretend like this, come on. Men spend money to get booty. Like this is the financial exchange. And in feminism, they say, no, you're not supposed to spend money to get booty. Cool. If you're spending money and you ain't getting no booty, then she's going to come and tell me how she went on a date with you <laughs> while I'm getting the booty. I got a story. You might know who this person is because this is when we was at HCC. What's up? We was in class with a chick. Okay. Uh, I think we swapped out uh, social media information. All I know is I was in New York at this time uh, recording some music with a friend of mine. I get a DM from her. And she's talking about working on an assignment together. Long story short, later on, we ensued on a, a multi-year relationship of just being intimate. I didn't have to pay for anything. I did not have to pay to be with her. I think that women that truly want to be with you and give up them goods, they will give it up for free. So it's like, I don't, that's not what I lead with. I don't come out with like, I'm not pursuing anything that isn't pursuing me. All I'm doing is being a human person. Right. And all I'm doing, like, because when you add the sex to it, it, it feels like I'm saying something strange. No, no, no. When I'm having a really good time, I want to continue having a really good time. Bro, if we shooting pool, having drinks, I'm buying the next round, whatever. When we're going to play another game, another game, we might throw darts. Then we, we might go to an after hours because I just want the fun to continue to progress. Right. In an intimate relationship, the, the, the height of the progression is the intimate experience. So do you think that a woman that want to give you some, she needs you to spend money on her? Not at all. Okay. I, I'm just saying that that's right, the... Right. Bro, I don't... I, I ain't got now. <laughs> <laughs> How I'm going to spend it. Right, 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 right. <laughs> so like me, all I, I have lived experiences. I can tell stories. Nigga, I, I will just tell you what I think about you in real time. Right. When I see you, oh my gosh. Like it's incredible. Man, I'm going to find the thing that I've seen on you that I know that you know. And that's what made me want to talk to you. Yeah, yeah, you got everything is right. Why you got that freckle right there, though, for it? That's a weird looking ass freckle. It's, it's not cancerous, is it? Man, I'm looking for the does type. It, does it look cancerous? I, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna tell you what boy you the charm guy looking for or was looking for. I was looking for disciples. Um, uh, I'm 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 taking you out because one, that's the manly thing to do. I invited you out, so I'm gonna take you out. But I do want to get to know you because I'm looking for discipleship. I need somebody to follow me because to me. What you if you're gonna if you can do what I tell you to do, if you can see me in the light that I truly am, that's much more valuable than your body. Because out of all the women that I had sex with, and I'm sure you may be able to attest to this, out of all the women you have sex with, out of them 30 women, only four of them gonna have some good cat. If we just being honest, a lot of times we just getting a nut off. To shit, I might could beat my dick and get a better nut than fucking some of these hoes. At the end of the day, it's like this. I'm looking for discipleship. Can you listen? That's way more attractive but to how me. How do you find a disciple though? Talking to her, seeing what she on, seeing how she, uh, how she's rocking with you naturally. Is she, is she after you? The exact same way we're finna conquer this media space. <laughs> it's, it's one day at a time, one, one piece of, of content at a time. And so, if our energy is good, that it just continues to escalate. The chemistry grows, and if she adds value into my life, she becomes so indispensable. I don't want her not to be there. Right. When I'm in my workspace, she knows, hey, baby's working right now. Man, she might fix my tea for me, not even ask me to fix my tea for me. She might break up my weed for me without even asking her to break up Come my on. weed for me. She's going to see that I'm building, and she's going to do everything in her power to help me build. And that's, that's just adding value to a person who's already doing something. And so if you already got motion, you ain't got to worry about nobody because everybody sees you moving, bro. Right. I'm looking for a faithful disciple. At the end of the day, I'm looking for a faithful disciple. And the only way I'm going to find that out is if I'm looking at all the dis people that's putting in the applications for discipleship. And oh. I got to be like, okay, get, guess what? And I'm going to let her know, hey, you, this is the application phase for you. We started this conversation talking about cheating and right. the act of cheating. Right. And so just human people, we can only do what we have access to doing. And so like, if I'm on the workplace with a person and you give me eight hours to deep dive their brain and have conversations, I'm going to find commonality. And if I find commonality by the end of the shift, she might want to go and get some tacos or something. You hear me? 
and she might and she might have a husband and she might have a boyfriend and i might respect that relationship but she's having the experience of her lifetime she's been married for 10 years and never felt like this before she's been married for 10 years and he ain't never said nothing so nice to make her eyes just light up like really you really think and it's genuine because everyone under nigga, if you tell me I'm the tallest nigga in the world, I'm gonna look at you stupid as fuck. Man, hey, stop that! <laughs> I'm the tallest in the world. But when you look at her and you tell her what she sees in the mirror, hell, she's like, damn, you see me. You know why those women find those relationships boring, those marriages boring? And there's a statistic that aligns with this. Most of the time, those men that they married were not a first options. They never saw the value in that man, and they were already whores before they got there. So there's no there's nothing that really keeps them grounded in that relationship outside of the wanting a valuable man, someone to provide for them and provide money. That's why they're always looking for excitement. There's statistics that do align with that. Most of these women that have gotten in these relate. Hey, I hate to hear a woman say he's boring. He he keep the lights on. He taking care of them kids while you over there. What are you looking for outside of that marriage? That's the good stability for you. So what you gonna do is you gonna go a, a have, dynamic man. You gonna go, <laughs> but you but you're only get, you're only getting a piece of that from a, someone. A renaissance man, man. When we the last conversation we had, if men do not choose to be dynamic, be powerful, be excellent, be wonderful lovers, be business people, if we do not be multifaceted, then hell, you don't deserve nothing. And so that's that's why history has done this to the man, right? I think historically, 80% of all women reproduce. Historically, 80% of all women reproduce. Historically, 40% of all men reproduce. It might be 40, 60, however that split is. Go fact check your mama. However that number is, the 60, 40 split, that's a large percentage of, it's probably 60 produce and 40% not reproduce. It's probably like that. But 40% of men will never have no children. That's their reality because they add no value to a woman's life. And so when you understand that excellent men have lots of children and the man who's born, you pay the bills, keep the light on. And those three (laughs) children are not even your children. And you love her so much that you wouldn't dare get a paternity test. It's few and far between because the men that are, because the, 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 the men that are in high demand, the men are that are high in demand. It's a few of us. And those are the men who have options. When we really get into the meat and potatoes of who's getting cheated on, who's not cheating, who's being loyal, I'm telling you, we're going to get a profile of these people. Look, man, I I, I know, I, I know, I would, hey, don't be a stepdad. So there was, there was. Never be a stepdad, never take care of another man's child. Even though a woman's going to try to get you to do that, never take care of another man's <laughs> child at all. You should never but be doing that. most women have another man's child. That they want the man that they want to either take care of or the man that they don't want to take <laughs> care of. That's exactly how it goes. But a real man can set up his own uh, family the way he wants to because he's a man of the man. I've had outside of my wife that have had my children. I've had two other women outside of the plethora of women I've dealt with. And they probably the other ones didn't say nothing. It was like, I want your baby. A woman to try, if she wants you, a woman to try to have your baby. I'm getting some pushback on TikTok when we said that, by the way. But a woman that want to have your, that wants you, she'll try to have that baby fast. She will lead with that. The same way I said. Anchor baby. The same way. Yes. I'm going to have direct, bro, if if you meet Rihanna, you better drop a seed in Rihanna, okay? When you find somebody of value, you want to be connected to this person because you, you've never met anyone like this before. And so, like, just cheating, that's a weird word because who am I cheating? I get to have the opportunity of a lifetime with a person that I've, I've never experienced anyone like this before. I've never seen anyone this beautiful before. I'm about... I, he might not call me back. I mean, I just won the I just won the genetics lotto. <laughs> you hear me? Oh my goodness. I am an animal. I am a barbarian. But I am a human being, brother. With all game, with all game, we gotta talk about the good and the bad. And that's why I say I'm anti-cheating. Now we didn't did all that rhetoric, and I'm saying I'm anti-cheating. It's because what does it cause in order? What happens when you have listen? Because we have all this ideology and perverse ideology, we have all this chaos that now we're trying to retroactively fix. When you are in a marriage and you're a government, that's why I say, when I talked about spinning plates, I wasn't saying having sex with these women. But you have to find the most suitable disciple that you, can, that. that you can be with, have a family with. And yes, walk. I'm walking in monogamy as the example for her to walk in monogamy. I'm pouring into her everything. Don't y'all talk about 
this is what the universe you give is better to give than to receive because when you put out, you get it back. But you got to find a person to do that with and build this relationship with. Because I do know this. If she not be the person, if I've lived righteously, the universe, God, I'm not going to say the universe. God has to return or replace the person that I'm supposed to have. If that's really truly wants for me. And I know he does. But I have to first walk that way myself. That's why I believe in it. It has nothing I don't to even, do. Go the, ahead. The, just the way that you're speaking. Mm-hmm. My life isn't passive. I don't wait for God to do anything. Right. When I do the thing, it's because God gave me the strength to do the thing. Okay, come on, let's talk. When I go hunt, God allowed me the speed and the strength to go hunt. And so, like, we're we're intentional with the thing that we're doing. And so when, I, when I'm talking, to, I, I keep, I say the word cheating, like air quotes, what the hell is cheating? What does that mean? Am I cheating a person that has their own thoughts, like, in the four agreements, it says don't take anything personal because whatever another person thinks about you is that's their own thought. That's their own problem. So even if a woman says I'm the greatest nigga in the whole entire world, that's her perspective. What if I disagree with that perspective? Am I supposed to be subservient to another person's ideas? I understand loyalty, but I'm not bound by loyalty. I am a conqueror. My loyalty is to be the most excellent version of myself. And if I can make 40 excellent versions of myself with 40 people that I meet that are as dynamic as my imagination, bro, that's the that's my experience. Right, let me ask you this. That's not polygamy. That's nothing except for I met 40 dope-ass people that want to have my baby. Are you a man if you don't tell the truth? Yes. No, wait. What? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. I'm saying, are you a man if you don't tell the truth? You're a man of low integrity if you don't tell the truth if you tell so guess what why can't i just do this it's not cheating if i say hey i'm gonna be with you but i'm also gonna be with her why aren't men doing that it wouldn't be no cheating if you was like hey i'm gonna be with you but i'm gonna be with her and that's how we're gonna say it because like you know what bro like like the world is so simple it's so simple if i if, to, if tomorrow if i meet gal godot super wonder woman if i meet wonder woman at the bar tomorrow and i smash and i wake up in the hotel I'm not thinking Gal Gadot was my woman. I think I had a great night with an actress that I met, and it was like a once-in-a-lifetime event. Most women understand. When they meeting with a person who, who has all the attributes that they know their friends want, their mama want, their cousins want, when they meet this guy, when they pull their panties up, they just hope you call them back tomorrow. They don't ask for no relationship. They don't ask for no condoms. They don't ask for shit. They just be They those, don't ask for condoms. They be so thankful to have the experience. There's levels to this shit, bro. Should we be wasting our time with women like that? What are you wasting your time? I don't. This is. I just met a person and just had a good time with the person. She get pregnant now? What? I, I got <laughs> Gal Gadot got my baby. Think about the premise. Wonder Woman has my baby. I didn't say a scallywag. Man, we ain't out here, but 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 boys is dropping babies, not in Gal Gadot. They dropping babies in Shalmaho. You know what I'm saying? Like they they it'd be random skeezers that we dropping babies in and having to take care the of. The woman who has my baby is a beautiful woman. We have a beautiful baby. What do you do when that when you're doing it like that and you got a wife at the house? Hey wife, we got a beautiful baby on the way. So what do you do to your institution when your wife has to walk around? Understanding this is what you did. She feels like crap. Now y'all may have children together. And is now that, you have. Is, why are you creating that experience? Because you get to tell the story. You're the narrator of the story. The woman. Man, you, you, me. like me personally, I'm the narrator of this story. Right. Everybody in the story is going to have a wonderful experience because the goal is to have a wonderful experience. We met on a positive way. We're going to have a positive experience because it's never not going to be a positive experience. And if you want to do something different, if you want to be chaotic, then go do something different. Hey. It's not going to stop me from being... No, you son of a... Okay. It's yeah, not going to stop it. me from being me. <laughs> As a man who had a family, has a family, who was cheating, six kids. And by cheating... The, having other women. You didn't disclose that you were having... I didn't disclose okay. it. That's cheating. And, and, and watching my family disintegrate because of that, having to talk to my daughter about it, having to talk to my kids about it, having that label on me as somebody who is anybody that know me know I'm so cool and my music you can hear the DNA of who I am felt terrible watching you know not being able to be with my kids every day you know my wife who I've been with since I was in the 10th grade not being able to be with her every day not really having that the thing that makes me want to get up and do what I do felt terrible nobody talk about that so it's like at the end of the day I hear you 
But that shit felt horrible. Going to court, having to go through the whole divorce proceeding, having to go through the whole schedule of picking up the kids a certain way, all because I couldn't control myself. When guess what? The best sex I had was with her, and she was giving it up every day. When a lot of these women don't even do that. You'll think the grass is greener. Go mess with these other women. They not even doing that. They causing more problems than what they were. I'm just coming from an aspect of been there, done that, had multiple women. And in the end, when I talk about wasting time, man, you know how much more I could have done? You know how much more I could have been? You know, you know, for those that know I was in music, man, I had a lot of opportunities. I blew because guess what? I was chasing hoes. Like I had a sellout, sellout shows. Like, so many opportunities because I chase women. And I just don't think men talk about it enough in the aftermath of how you feel when you're doing that shit. Congratulations <laughs> on pursuing what you believe. Right. That, that's amazing and commendable. That's right. called integrity to actually live out what you believe. And I know that we live in a world where it's so perverse, but I want to base everything that I believe based on simple biology and, and in alignment with who I am and what I'm supposed to be doing. Nothing wrong with that. And what I'm supposed to be doing. And I'm not trying to mislead or hurt or harm anyone. Number one rule is to do no harm. Number one, to thyself. I'm not going to present my... I'm, the, 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 the nature of a man is to go... The nature of the human being, the man, the man, is to work as hard as he can to build something for his family and to make society better. And with that, it comes great egos... And, and great work ethics and great appetites because you're consuming so much and you're doing so. I'm not trying to justify nothing. I'm just talking about the nature of creating arts. I'm talking about in order to paint the most beautiful picture, you've had to see lots and lots of beautiful things. You've had to have some positive and negative experiences that give you a reference point to draw from to create this thing. And all the pain that you endured in your younger years prepared you to be the man you're supposed to be when you stride into your 40s. Men don't hit, they stride until they 40s. And you get rich from 40 to 60. And you retire. This is just the journey of the man. And so when I talk about cheating, air quotes, I'm preparing myself for greatness. And whatever woman is there, when I get to that place, man, I thank you for showing up. But I've always been me. Will always be me. And I thank you for being beautiful. Because we're the greatest Americans alive. <laughs> the greatest American alive. Baby, I get excited. You're the greatest American alive. <laughs> the greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.